Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a collaboration with the beautiful Simply Bethany. Her channel is all about cooking, cleaning, lifestyle. She is a mommy of two beautiful little babies. She is amazing to watch and she gives the best motivation. After this video, go on over and check her out. I will have her channel linked down in the description. Alright, we are going to start in my craft room. This right here is a pretty sad Chinese evergreen. Right now I have it under grow lights because it wasn't doing good at all but now it does have a little bit of new growth. I tend to water this guy when he dries out, which is right now. And then moving over here, this is a spider plant propagation that I took off my mom's mother plant. Unfortunately, it did lose its variegation, but it is slowly starting to come back as we can see right here. He gets water more often because of the fact that he is just in a mason jar. These are just some propagations that are dying. I've lost interest. This is a stock of babies that came off of my mother aloe plant. I loved the way that they looked all bunched up, so I decided to just leave them all together. These two are my um, shamrock. I don't know the real name for them, but these are my shamrocks. This one died completely, so I was told to chop it back to nothing and let it come back. I do water these guys like every other one every one to two weeks. They all do need to be watered currently. And up here is my panda plant. This was a root separation for me, my mom, and a good friend of mine. This one I do nothing special with. And he is just going savage. I do need to put him in a new pot as he dries out very quickly. But as we can see, we have some new little babies coming in gonna be a big plant this I have no idea what it's called I've tried killing it multiple times and it just keeps coming back actually a new little bub has started but I'm not entirely sure what this plant is a friend of mine gave it to me as a housewarming gift I was really appreciative because it's a plant, but moving into my bathroom, I have a spider plant that is outgrowing this space. I don't know where I'm going to put him, but he does have a few sad spots just where the furnace is on a lot more recently. I'm just going to pick those guys off and trim the dead ends and he should be okay. All these shoots are babies growing we have one two three four shoots on it i tend to water him once a week he dries out really fast because of the size of plant he is and i tend to just water him and my ivy in the bathtub at the same time over here is my watering wandering jew or Tradescantia zebrina. It unfortunately isn't doing the best here near the near the roots, but as you see, it is growing. I did take this guy from cutting off my mother plant out in the living room, and I water him like I do every other plant I own, mainly once every two weeks doing good into my kitchen now above my garbage can I have this marble queen posos I got this one about a year ago 
it seems to be happy here where it is. Just like everything else, I water it once every two weeks and it seems to absolutely love it. I do add plant food in the growing season. So starting in late February, early March, I will give most of my plants plant food bi-monthly until the cold season starts again. This one has a pile of new growth coming out on it. And I absolutely love the variegation that it gives. Above my sink, I have a Silvery and Pothos. I got this one from a cutting and it was just a teeny tiny baby when I first got it, but now it is doing incredible. I just recently moved this one over here so it could get some more light and grow a bit faster. As you can see, it's already paying off with a new growth point. Over into my dining room, I have this big neon post host that I'm working on stringing it across the ceiling. Because it's winter, it's not getting the light that it currently needs. So it is starting to drop a few leaves, as you can see back here. But it is still growing for the most part. So I'm not too concerned. I normally water this one again once every two weeks. But once a month, I do unravel him and take it down and I water it in the shower and I rinse all the leaves off when I do all that. Yeah, I'm hoping to string it right across my dining room, but for now, he is only that far. Up on this shelf, I this is my Arrowhead double pot. Um, I have a... What is it called? I forget the name of variety this one is, but this one here is a pink. Oh, I forget the name of that one too. I'll have to search it, but it has beautiful pink leaves and a dead bulb. It is growing incredibly since I've moved it over here. And then this little guy, he's not doing very well. It was given to me to bring back to life, but I have no idea what to do with succulents. It's a loss, it's a loss at this point. It doesn't really bother me. This little guy is my Chinese money tree. Right now he's just sat here on the table because I cannot figure out where I want to put him. Being on the table though, he does get a lot of sunlight and unfortunately these guys don't like a lot of light so he's getting crispy and dying, but we'll get him back as soon as we figure out where to put him. I do water him every two weeks, but sometimes I have to top him off a little bit throughout the week just because he is unfortunately in a high sun. Moving right along, this is my golden pothos. He is really big. I am very proud of him. This one is probably one of my favorite plants that I have currently. Never dramatic like some of my plants. And he always tells me when it needs to be watered. It is starting, as you can see in right there, it is starting to grow more full within the pot versus out of the pot and vining. I'm hoping one day to have it up and around and over and then down this side. Hoping my cat won't eat it, but that's... That's going to take a while to get there. So for now, I just have it going like this. Now entering the living room. This is a Hartley philodendron, non-variegated. I only got him about six months ago. It only had four leaves within the pot. And now it is starting to vine out, which I am so happy about. I do water this one a little bit more frequently, but... 
that's okay. I do wipe his leaves off every two weeks when I do water him and he's very happy where he is. On the shelf above my couch, I have the aloe vera mother plant that needs to be repotted soon. And then a little baby on the side here. I have a little baby snake plant, a purple heart, and then a weeping fig that is dying on me. I don't think he'll, 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 he'll I don't think he'll be here much longer, but he was beautiful when he was full, but now he's sad. I do water the weeping fig and the purple heart every two weeks. I let this guy dry out for about two and a half to three, and I let this guy dry out maybe two and a half weeks. Over here, I have in my hanging macrame, I have a Monstera adansonii. He was just a little tiny baby when my boyfriend got him for me for my birthday last year. He is vining out so well. I do water him every two weeks or so, and I do only add plant food to their water in the growing season. So like I said, end of February, early March. I do need to get a longer um, macrame. I would like him to hang about here, not so high up so he can get a bit more sunlight. And moving on to my big shelf that I had made for me by my lovely boyfriend. This plant, Anyone who keeps plants knows that ferns are very dramatic. He was doing so good for so long. As soon as the cold weather hit, he decided that he was not happy. I'm not entirely sure what type of fern he is, but when he is happy, I need to clean him up. When he is happy, he is beautiful. Over here, don't mind the two little urn things. This is my Thanksgiving cactus. It doesn't grow that fast. I've had this one for about two years now. I do only water it once a month or when the roots dry out very well. Unfortunately, it hasn't bloomed for me since the day I got it, but we're working towards it. Moving over this way. This is my mother plant wandering Jew. As you can see, it is, it's wild. My boyfriend loves the way it looks, so I'm just letting it grow and do its own thing. Down here is a newly repotted golden pothos. I got this one before I left town to get my big one on the wall. But he has finally started growing very well. It was only within the last, like, I'd say three months that he started vining out. They do have a few yellow leaves that I will just pull off. Good as new. He does have a few new growth points since moving him. One there. This is a new leaf that just popped out. And I did take cuttings and add the cuttings in back here just to make it more full. Hanging above my boyfriend's chair, I have a ivy. I think it is called a variegated English ivy. I got this one as a gift from my mom, I'd say maybe eight months ago. At first I didn't know what it wanted from me and it started dying off but moving it to the shower to make sure it gets more water than necessary did the trick and now i have so much new growth the leaves are supposed to be wrinkled for the most part but all of the new growth is just straight they will darken as they mature like this one is starting to darken and crinkle up a little bit I do water this one in the shower with my spider plant. 
over here. This is my jasmine plant. He came on a hoop and I really didn't like the way it looked on the hoop. But in taking off taking it off the hoop, it ended up dying off on me really really bad. Like here is just a whole dead node and then this this part died completely, but it did come back and I'm so happy it did. I do water him a little bit more frequently because of the size that he is and all the new growth he puts out every month, I'd say, but I love it. On this shelf here, I have a little orchid that just lost its last flower of the season. I'm not too sure on how to care for orchids so I hope I can keep this little guy alive but we'll wait and see. I do only water it I'd say once every week and a half. Right now it definitely needs water but we'll do that at a later time. Over here is a new plant that I actually just picked up recently. I think, I know it's a peperomia, but I completely forget the name of it. So if you know what this is, please let me know down in the comments. It does have some new growth already starting, which is amazing. I love the way the leaves look. Unfortunately, when I got this plant, it was overwatered on the verge of root rot. I have not watered this one since I've gotten it. Moving up here, this is my little Hoya shelf. This is my, oops, sorry. This is my Hoya pubicalyx. He, I call it my little alien because it's it shoots out these little noty things. I am absolutely obsessed. I do water him every two weeks and I wipe his leaves off weekly because my house does get dusty during the winter and having two dogs. This is a new plant to me. As soon as I found out it was available in my town, I ran as fast as I could to pick it up. It is a Hoya Crimson. I'm not sure if it's a princess or a queen, but it is something like that. <laughs> I love the variegation that it has. As the leaves mature, they will either turn pink or red. I do water this one a little bit more frequently as it will need to be repotted soon. And when I first got it, the roots were insane. I just haven't gotten around to getting a bigger pot. So for now, I just water it a little more often than the rest. And last but not least, this is my giant Monstera Deliciosa. I have been wanting one of these guys for ages. Ever since I started keeping houseplants, this has been a wish list plant. And when my plant shop finally got them in, you know I ran to get it. I do water him more frequently as he is in such a large pot and his roots are so big. So I do have a water globe in here just to kind of help maintain the water as on the off days. I do clean his leaves bi-weekly. Currently they need to be done again. I do clean his leaves bi-weekly so he can photo synthesize so he can get all the sunlight he needs and he can grow so big i just want to thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye guys